everyone! As you can see, uh, I hope you guys realize how excited I am for Christmas, but before we get to Christmas, I guess we're doing Halloween and uh, what are you guys dressing up as? Uh, this week we're talking about creepy books and I think everyone so far has gone through such an amazing list and I'm looking through the books I've read in the past couple years and I was like, I realize I don't really like creepy. I don't do creepy. But I will do my best and hopefully that's enough. I will start off with a book that I'm pretty sure was mentioned by Lauren and uh, maybe someone else, but Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. It was the very, very first book that came to mind. It was, it's a ghost story, it's suitably creepy, but it's so good. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. It's just um, an excellent novel in like all aspects. And it also has a creepy factor, which is just a bonus, right? Um, I will, I'll start like categorizing these books by um, what type of creepy I'm counting them as, because like Lauren, I don't just go for I don't know, like a plot wise, there's also like character wise, um, just this weird psychologically weird, odd, creepy type of wise. I'm just adding wise to everything. I will, uh, character wise, if anyone, I don't know if you guys really, I feel like the series deserves so much more attention. The Demon's Surrender. It's the third book in the Demon's Lexicon series by Sarah Rees Brennan. Um, in the third book, there's Jamie. And I don't know if you guys have read it, but he is so freaking creepy. It's awesome. It's just awesome. So, Demon Surrender. The next book is called Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers. Haven't heard of it? Have you been living under a rock? Courtney Summers is one of my absolute favorite contemporary authors, and this book is, it's a lot, it's a, it's more of a darker read, and it's not necessarily creepy, but I feel like the atmosphere given off by the novel and the writing style, it just puts me in like this like almost, it sends like shivers down my spine because it's so like, it's just so cold almost. It's creepy. We'll leave it at that. It's a really good novel. Uh, next book, Nothing by Jan Teller. It's, it's actually based on, I believe, a Dutch novel. Like it's translated from Dutch, but I would put the premise as creepy because basically there's these kids, they want to define nothing because there's this another, like they're in grade six. Holy crap. I don't know. They're just doing some crazy stuff and I'm reading this and going, holy crap. Um, it's more shocking than creepy now I think about it, but I still want to include it because it's a great novel. It actually, it's a Prince book as well. So if you guys are into awards, it's a great novel. Uh, next book, it has been mentioned. Unbecoming a Mary Dyer. It wasn't my favorite book, but I will admit it was very, very atmospheric, and that was the one of the best things about it. I thought the mystery behind Mara was just delightfully creepy, and it was awesome. Uh, I think generally the plot, it was done so well, so I would definitely put that in my list. Next book, zombies. So zombies by themselves are just creepy, and I feel sad because I'm totally team zombie, but I don't really read that many zombie books, but to make you feel better, I don't read any unicorn books. <laughs> so I will put Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan on this list because the zombies are crazy awesome. I love crazy awesome zombies. They are out to kill you. Uh, okay, and last book, it's not a YA, but I'm just putting it on this list because I feel like it's great. It's called Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, it's, have you seen, it's a movie right now. It has, okay. This movie is so great. It's uh, has Andrew Garfield, which is who is like so attractive. It should be illegal, um, but that's just me. There is Keira Knightley and Carey Mulligan. Um, it's a fantastic movie. It it's this it has this really like shocking twist that you probably heard of or you haven't. But I thought the setting and the story and the way like things like unfolded and suddenly like you're hit with something and then it just the way that it's told, it's not, it's shocking and it's kind of slightly creepy. It's not like, it won't scare you though, if you get what I mean. But it's like, I can't really, it's hard to describe. But I, I just thought about it as like, you know what, I'll just throw it on there. Also, I just thought about this as I was recording this video. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. There is a scene at the end of the book and you're like, holy crap, where did this come from? This is so scary. And it's a fantastic book. It's actually... Why do more people not read this book? It's been out for quite a while and it's excellent. So, Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I'm just gonna start leaving like books links in the doobie-doo because it's just more convenient. That way you guys, I don't know, sometimes I, I don't know, sometimes I mumble a little bit. 
but uh, it might just be a good idea just to leave the links in the doobly-doo. Also, I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Uh, I'm a couple days early, but that's okay. Mm, what are you guys dressing up as? Bye!